Last topic that we are covering is matrices. This, I believe, is new for many of you. So we're going to take notes today. Like I said, two sets of notes, and then our last set of notes will be next class. So let's just jump right in, starting with some vocabulary. A matrix is any rectangular array of numbers. And so this example that you see right here, that's a matrix. The plural of that is matrices. So that as a matrix, it's just an arrangement of numbers. Oftentimes, we describe a matrix with its dimensions. The dimensions of a matrix is the number of rows by the number of columns. Number of rows by the number of columns. So that matrix that you see above has three rows. So we say that this is three by two columns. So three by two. Those are the dimensions of that matrix. So that is the first thing you're gonna have to be able to do in your homework is write the dimensions. Questions? Okay, next thing I want to talk about is when two matrices are equal. So the equality of two matrices. Two matrices, A and B, are equal if and only if all corresponding elements are equal. An element is each number in the matrix. So all the corresponding numbers in the matrices need to be the same. Example one is how you're going to see this. Example one, it says given one matrix is equal to another matrix, find A, B, C, X, and Y. If these two matrices are equal, all corresponding elements are equal. So this first element has to be equal to that first element. So there we go, we get A equals 3. Then second element has to be equal to the second element. So that gives us X equals negative 2. Third element has to be equal, so we get B equals negative 4. And hopefully you see the pattern from here. We have 3 is equal to 3. Okay, that's not very helpful. We have C is equal to negative 1. And we have 1 is equal to y. Okay, so again, matrices are equal only if all of their corresponding elements are equal. Questions? So let's keep going then. Next thing I want to talk about is adding and subtracting matrices. In order to add or subtract matrices, the matrices must have the same dimensions. Matrices must have the same dimensions. So example two, it says given matrix A and matrix B, we're going to find the addition and we're going to find the subtraction. So first question to ask ourselves, can we add and subtract these? Dimensions of the first matrix, there are two rows and three columns. Second matrix has two rows and three columns. They're the same, so yes, we can add and subtract these two matrices. Okay, so the first one, we are going to add A and B. So I'm going to rewrite A. And I'm adding that to B. This should be pretty intuitive, 
you're going to add the corresponding elements. So we will add the first elements. 2 add 5 gives us 7. Negative 2 add negative 2 gives us negative 4. 3 add 6 gives us 9. 1 add negative 2 gives us negative 1. 3 add 3 is 6. And negative 4 add 5 is 1. That's our answer. Part B, we're subtracting. So we're going to take B, which is 5, negative 2, 6, negative 2, 3, 5, and we are going to subtract A. Works exactly the same as adding. You're going to subtract the corresponding elements. So we would do 5 minus 2 gives us 3. Negative 2, subtract, negative 2 is 0. 6 minus 3 is 3. Next row, we would do negative 2 minus 1, so that's negative 3. 3 minus 3 is 0. And 5 subtract, negative 4 is 9. Shouldn't be too bad. Questions? Okay, quick note real quick, if you can write this at the bottom. We're gonna call this example 2.5. Recopy, if you would, that matrix A from above. One other thing you have to be able to do before we move on is identify specific elements. So I could ask you to find A of 2, 1, A of 1, 2, A of 3, 2. So that's what we're going to do real quick. Here's what you need to know, that A of 2, 1. First thing it tells us, it tells us that we are using matrix A. That's why it's a little a. So little a would come from matrix A. Little b would come from matrix B. The first number is the row. The second number is the column. So we would go to the second row, first column. So A of 2, 1 would be that number 1. So A of 1, 2 then, first row, second column, would be negative 2. That last one is telling us to go to the third row. There is no third row, so we would say none, because there's no third row. So that's part of what you're going to see in your homework or in the practice. And again, just pay attention. Little a means that that element comes from matrix A. Question before we look at the last piece of these notes. Okay, last thing, go to the next page, please. We are gonna discuss scalar multiplication. Scalar multiplication, here's the deal with scalar multiplication. It is the product of a real number and a matrix. 
product of a real number and a matrix. So we are going to do two examples and then these notes are done. Example A, we are doing 2A plus 3B. So here's what that means. We are taking that matrix A and we are multiplying it by 2. We are taking matrix B, multiplying it by 3, and then we are adding them together. <coughs> Order of operations, the multiplication is going to have to come first. So when I look at that 2a, what I'm going to do is that 2 gets multiplied to every single element. So the matrix would become 2, negative 4, 4, negative 6. Second matrix, I'm multiplying everything by 3. So this would be 9, 6, 3, and 12. And now I'm adding the two matrices. Now remember, the only reason I can add them is that the dimensions are the same. So this one's 2 by 2, this one's 2 by 2, same dimensions, so I can add them. So we are going to add the corresponding elements. 2 add 9 would give us 11. Negative 4 add 6 gives us 2. 4 add 3 gives us 7. And negative 6 add 12 gives us 6. Okay. I'm going to have you all try B. I have one suggestion for you though first. Nobody likes to subtract. So instead of subtracting, think of this like adding a negative. So change it to adding a negative. Take two minutes and complete B, please. Here's what I got. Negative three, negative 10, four, negative 17. You all agree? Great. That's for set of notes. That's going to be your first set of homework. And if you notice on the front page, it was one through seven odd. So it's not even that many problems. Questions for me?